My name's Franz Sands and this is MyBoxingCoach.com. Um, I'm going to keep this pretty short, this video. Uh, I'm going to give you a method to defend against any combination. Any combination that any opponent throws towards you, okay? I've seen lots of um, questions being asked and advice being given out about how to defend against a 1-2, how to defend against a double jab, how to defend against a left-right, left hook, right uppercut, left cross, right cross, uppercut, overhand, up power shot, whatever, okay? I'm going to give you a method of defending against any combination that gets thrown. And it's dead easy. It's a really simple method, okay? First off, you can go passive, okay? We're in boxing, we have two modes, passive or active. When someone comes at us and attacks us, we can go passive. And it's dead easy to move away, okay? Or, or move away and, and duck, okay? You've gone passive. Problem with going passive is you're never going to win a fight by going passive. You know, uh, judges score a fight on whether who is pressing the action, who is initiating the exchanges, who is dominating the ground. The guy who's come towards you and thrown a couple of shots, they are at least making an effort to make something happen. You've done nothing. You've just gone passive and moved away. And it might look nice. Yeah, yeah, okay. Ooh, a little bit of a Floyd Mayweather bend and blah, blah, blah. Ultimately, you've gone passive and you've achieved nothing. So I'm going to tell you how to stop and defend against any combination. And this is foolproof. Number one, don't wait to see what combination the opponent's going to throw. If you get in a boxing ring and you are waiting to see what the opponent is going to do, you're already getting beat, okay? You've already got one foot in the dressing room with a miserable look on your face, okay? You get in that ring and you own the ring, you take charge, right? So what you need to do, you need to predict when that combination is coming. That doesn't mean watching the opponent, that means triggering the opponent. So step one is trigger the opponent. And you can trigger the opponent by doing a feint. So you can do a hand feint, you can do a body feint, or you can do a foot feint, okay? And what that will more often than not lead to, lead to is a reaction. And quite often that reaction will be a punch. So your opponent will try and throw their combination. Step two, defend the first shot. So you can defend the first shot by any of the blocks, okay? By a body movement, or by a push away, okay? Remember that if you're going to defend the first shot, add pick a method, okay? If you're going to defend the first shot with body movement, feint and then do the body movements automatically, okay? Because trying to move your head out the way of an incoming shot, you're more likely to come second best in that particular exchange. A hand defense is a reactive block, okay? So you're going to be able to deploy your hand defense as quickly, okay? So we've triggered the opponent, we've blocked their shot, attack, that's the next step, okay? Strangle the combination at birth, simple. Trigger, block, fire, fire, fire. Uh, trigger, duck, fire, fire, fire. Trigger, that was the layback. Trigger, layback, left hook, right cross. I can guarantee you, once you've got that mindset, trigger, defend, attack, the combination that was in its infancy is gone. Instead, you've defended the fair shot and you've landed your own combination. Don't go passive, stay active. Trigger, defend, attack. Dead easy. Strangle it at birth. I'm Franz Sands. This is myboxingcoach.com.